Hello everybody, it's Erin at Scandalous Beauty and today's makeup tutorial is my interpretation of a look by Miss Diva herself. I don't keep up with the Joneses. I am the Joneses. Miss Nene Leaks. So here's what I'm using for today's tutorial. Hope you like it. To the eyes, to the brow highlight. Stay tuned. Right now, I'm just going to um, work on my brows. I'm using MAC Dip Down Fluid Line to make the brow look very, very strong. Um, this isn't a look where the brow is subtle and it plays in the background. Nini and, um, well, mostly just Nini and Lisa a little bit too. Um, they wear very banged out brows noticeable brows so I just used the fluid line for that okay that's just you know a starter so the look always starts with painterly paint pot and um, I'm gonna apply it with a brush for a little bit more precision I'm gonna use the MAC 242 brush and apply it to the lid um, yeah let me see so, I don't know how it happened. I didn't really watch the show last season, but this season I just couldn't help it. And I was on Twitter, tra la la, and everybody was getting excited and talking about it, and everybody's prepping themselves and getting a cocktail and a glass of wine and stuff. And I'm like, you know, let me just go ahead and watch it. And I'd seen episodes of it last year, but. <sighs> I just really honestly did not want to see my people acting crazy, acting a hot ghetto mess when we can, you know, when we get on TV sometimes. So I didn't really watch it too much last season, but I caught a couple episodes and I watched this first episode and then I was hooked. And now Thursday nights are for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's just the way it is. So um, I'm going to start with number 92 eyeshadow oops, by Makeup Forever. And the MAC 226 brush. And I'm going to start in my crease by just placing the color right on the outer crease. And somebody asked me if they thought, if I thought that Makeup Forever's eyeshadows were chalky. And it's, it's something that I explained before in the other tutorial. The more, like depending on the base, it's going to make a complete different look. So... You got to you got to be open-minded and and remember that you can make things work for you. You just got to play around with them. So I'm prepping my crease for that. And just blending as I go. You want to make sure you're going to be able to see that purple from all angles. Next I'm going to use a MAC Pro cream color base. This is called Flaming Fuchsia. It's just really just going to make the color more vibrant. It's going to make the color pop a little bit more. So I'm going to use my ring finger and just apply it right to the lid area because I want my pink to really stand out. Now this is my interpretation of the look. Nini's pink is pink. Like it's it's got a lot of color but it's not necessarily this pink. I don't think. I just got a glimpse of it this episode and um I tried to watch it and, and memorize so that I could do this look. But, you know, things get foggy and then you just end up doing your own thing. So I apply that to the lid. And then what I'm going to do... Oh, and remember, so when you use a cream color base like that, any kind of cream color, you got to have on a good base underneath it because these colors will... Um, they'll move, they'll crease and they'll move and act funny. So have a good base on and set it with a powder. I'm going to set it with... MAC Azalea. Oh, this is terrible how this looks on camera. This is a fuchsia, like a very bright, um, frosty fuchsia. So, um, can you see that? No, it looks pale. I hope my eyes look bright enough. Well, in the, in the preview video, you got to see it. 
so I'm patting the color on the lid like so like so and right now you see two colors not very blended and now it's the time to blend I commend all the housewives you can tell you know it's funny because you can tell which ones um, get their makeup professionally done every day and which ones do it themselves I always think that's amusing but hey you know what if I had it like that I bet you I'd be getting my makeup done every day to be on TV too well not really cuz you know makeup is my thing but still okay so I'm blending trying to make this look seamless like so then um, for a little touch I'm gonna add this makeup forever eyeshadow here this matte color right above the pink for a little bit more color wrong brush but that's cool any lid brush will do for this okay. now I want this to take forever and be one of those 45 minute tutorials to make a brow look a little bit more like that one of the tex techniques to highlight and to chisel is to take a flat brush and use it like a concealer I'm using this first color from the makeup forever palette concealer palette the dark one number five and I'm gonna highlight right underneath the lid underneath the, the brow the very top now you could do this all the way across but I'm just gonna do it right at the forefront and the goal is to basically erase everything that's underneath right and then and it you can probably see it a lot better in real life I'm gonna spray my face with Fix Plus, my BFF, and then I'm going to use my brow highlight, which I don't do a lot of brow highlight actually, because sometimes it can just be too much or whatnot. But let me tell you something: the Housewives of Atlanta, they love brow highlights, so I'm going to do one because this is a Nene tutorial. So this is Vanilla Pigment, my all-time favorite. This is the brow highlight I used to use every day forever, um, and it's like a it looks like a white, but it's like a sheer pearlescent gold or something like that. And you want to take it right under the brow and that highlight and that, and that arch. Kind of paint it on right there. Like that. As you can see. And then what you want to do is wipe off your excess. I'm going to wipe my brush a little bit more. And I'm going to blend it out. out and down just like that so that color really stands out and then with a nice fluffy brush that I know I have somewhere around here breaking things I'm going to take brown not this one but that's cool um, this is blunt blush and I'm just gonna add a little color in here to fill that in now after this what you're gonna want to do is your eyeliner so now I'm gonna bump it up a smidge more I've added my eyeliner my mascara and I'm gonna add a little bit of Mac purple haze and mix it with that number 92 blush I mean eyeshadow and just Add a little bit more to my crease. Play it up a little bit more. Soften it out, but play it up a little bit more. This is with the MAC 224 brush. Soften and blend. And blend as you go. And then, as Nini would do and many others, I'll take a little flat brush like this, take that eyeshadow that we started off with in the very beginning, 
and add a little bit right under the eye. Now it's time for lashes and we're good to go. Hope you all enjoyed. I got my little lock buns. Yeah. So this is my my interpretation of a Nene Leaks look. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you for the next video. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Sheree. If you have any video requests, hit me up. ScandalousBeautyOnline.com or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. See ya.